When last we left our intrepid adventurers, the parties were underground near Fortress Lament. They hear chanting of Manthusians from the old religion. They're trying to wake something up. Akai nods and says that it might be best if they get above ground quickly. The party runs back to the vault entrance and Akai goes out the door of the inn and does some scouting. When she comes back in, she says that the entire area is covered by Sheesh moving towards the Fortress of Lament. Seraph suggests they block the doors and wait. The party retreats down into the vault. After what seems like several hours, they hear the sound of crushing stone and the earth begins to quake. The group makes their way to the surface. Where the bar once stood, now the cellar is open to the sky. They grab the chests of gold and move towards the fortress. There's a warm, clammy mist covering everything. Everywhere they look, they see dead sheesh and broken siege equipment. In the distance, they see a huge shape, almost as big as Lament Fortress itself. The shape is vaguely turtle-shaped and is slowly lumbering towards the bay, followed by three smaller versions of itself. Scala remembers now that the bay is called Dragon Turtle Bay, and now they know why. Later, Alcine shows up and commends them for surviving the Dragon Turtle attack. He says that most of Deborah's horse survived by getting out of the way, and the dragon ate most of Testaria's army. The party camps up in the cliffs, and later that night, they have a strange visitor, a woman. She's ancient, and she wears seashells and kelp for hair. She says that she is one of the last surviving priestesses of the old goddess. Then she tells the party that the old goddess has thrown its lot in with the younger version of the Manthusian religion and the human goddess Chaldasea. Their aim is to bring down Distaria. She smiles, showing her filed teeth, and then makes her way towards the water, saying that the old mother will not let them fail. Akai goes after the woman and asks her about the weapon and how it can be harnessed. The older priestess tells Akai that the weapon was created by Tropidorians and male magic. She'll have to talk about it with a male magician. Akai is left standing there, so she returns to the party. They decide to camp up on the cliffs for the night and then go into the town early tomorrow after things have been cleaned up a little bit. Ulysses and Seraph, they decide to go into the battlefield tonight and see what they can find. They come back a little bit later, shaking their heads. Ulysses shows the party a strange thing he's found. It's a tube with several small metal pipes coming off of it and a wooden brace attached to it. None of the party knows what it is, except for Australia. She explains that it's called a bull roarer, or in Deserata, they're known as arms. They fire a projectile-like sling bullet out of it. Finn mentions something about his world having something called gunpowder. He describes how it works. Australia says she knows nothing about that, but from its description, it does sound similar. She says that the weapon is primed by a mineral called Hasa that is mined in Deserata. If this was a complete version, it would have firing crystals and a tank of Hasa along with heavy glass bullets. She says that they're very rare and very temperamental. She saw someone demonstrate it to her father, but he turned down using them with his army saying that he had enough Sada Kadishian longbowmen in his army instead. She mentions that Alcine probably has someone in the royal cavalry that can instruct Ulysses on how to use this. Tom the innkeeper 
comes walking down the path and smiles when he sees the chests of gold. They divide the chests, but Ulysses wants to see what's in the black box. He wants to make sure they're not getting cheated out of treasure. Tom shrugs, saying that it's an old family heirloom, but if the wanderer wants to see what's in it, it's his funeral. He walks towards Ulysses, preparing to open the box. He snaps it open, and only Ulysses sees what's inside. And then he starts screaming.